now we want to talk about how to compile with GCC. So if I do an ls-l, you can see I have the code from the my multifile2 example that you can see in the C library. And we've already done compilation with GCC before. And let me write one quick, simple C file. And I'm not going to do an include file. And let me put a symbolic constant just to show what happens. So I can compile that file and nothing's going to happen when I run it, but it does indeed produce an executable. So there's a couple options that I can do or when I, when I compile. So first I can have it do the preprocessor only. And when I do that, notice there's no pound defined, but it has replaced that symbolic constant name with the value in my code, sort of as a copy and replace. I can also, actually, I only want to do that once. So there we go. Ah, that's much better. I got two copies before. I can also use S. And if I do an ls here, notice I have hello.s now. So if I use more, if I more hello.s to see what's in there, you'll notice this is the assembly code for what we just did. So here I have a pound defined x, or I'm going, I, I have a symbolic constant x, but when I compile, it's not declared. So if I define it, now notice I get good values. And if I do the preprocessor dash E, you can see that it replaced that with 40. If I want to use the ANSI C standard, I can just say dash ANSI. Of course, it's undeclared, so I better fix that. I think we've seen that example already. I can link in additional libraries using dash L. So if I was using, for example, the math library or the pthread library, in fact, I think I can show you an example of that over here. So if I just do GCC pthread.c, it has some undefined references. That's because I need to bring in the pthread uh, library LP thread. Oh, why do I do head? <laughs> I was about to be really concerned there. Yeah, so now it brought in that that library that that was necessary. It brought in the P thread library. And that's something that we'll actually use later in the semester. Now suppose I just wanted to compile hello.c to an object file. I can do gcc o hello.c. Sorry, not, not O dash C. And that gives me an object file. And then if I want to write hello.c to an object file named hello. Now, if I do an ls dash L, you see that there's an executable called hello. And let's just double check that that works. Let's edit hello.c. So now that we've added to that file, we can compile it again and we don't have, uh, I have a bug. I fixed it. So let's compile it again. And now if I say hello, it'll run the program. So hopefully by now you're used to the standard and we can set the standard to whatever we want. We could use C99, whoops, better compile it with that. 
I can also set the warning level, and normally we do that using W all, but there's a whole bunch of warnings that you can be really specific specific about. And then finally, if you do dash V, you get some verbose output about uh, what's going on. Sometimes you can use this to see, you, you can see that there's a lot of configuration and so forth that goes on and uh, dash V will give you all that information. Okay, so there's a lot of options here. You don't really need to know them all, but just be aware that they exist. And if you run into trouble, uh, hopefully you can pick one that helps you out.